Hey, it's Pastor Christy. Want to share with you our daily devotion as we are in uh, the Bible in 52 stories and reading the Bible in a year. I hope that you really are keeping up with us, uh, whether you've started back in September with us or if you continue and start anytime. It really is an exercise of faith and encouragement. Uh, it's interesting how God places scriptures in a certain time that is necessary for us and, and then how we have enveloped that into the church year. In our sermon series, we are in the book of Acts and there's a lot to cover and we are not gonna cover all of it, but I hope as you read Acts, whether you're reading through in a, in a way that is with us, or if you just read through this book, it's fascinating to see how the early church really does look at how to figure out their, their lives, their lives in Christ, their lives as Jews or Gentiles, their lives before they became Christians and those lives that happen after they are transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's interesting because there are stories of imprisonment, of rebellion, of figuring out what it is to be Roman and Christian or Jewish and Christian, what it is to find faith in the midst of trial or triumph, the ways in which certain communities got together. It wasn't just one person and individual faith, but it was about a community of faith getting together and finding God in and through their lives how Peter and Paul and James and John and all the other apostles did ministry in different ways. And so I encourage you to read through. And today's scripture focuses tonight and tomorrow's scripture focuses on Stephen. Stephen may be probably the first martyr of the Christian church. And it is a good story to, to think about, but a hard one about how we as Christians forget about what it is to put everything on the line. And Stephen's story is filled with the story of the Old Testament. It talks about Abraham and Moses and, and they're preaching about all this because it all leads up to Jesus. So when we say, oh, well, we only need this, well, even the early church needed the Old Testament in order to see the fulfillment of Jesus Christ and how they are creating the New Testament, creating these ways in which we are being Christians together. And we are creating these ways still as we read faithfully the word of God. And so I hope that you faithfully read and question and challenge yourself in this time to read God's word, struggle with it, learn from it, ask questions of it. Let us pray. Dear God, be with us as we read your word, as we live experiences of life and we figure out how you speak in and through all time. Grant us wisdom and courage to speak out. Grant us wisdom and courage to love one another as you have loved us and your people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hope to see all of you virtually in worship on Saturday, tonight, Saturday, or Sunday, tomorrow, and we would love to dialogue with you. So please join us for sermons, songs, and stay at home tomorrow at 1115 on Zoom. There's information about that on our website, epcfl.org. Have a wonderful day.